Hello everyone, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's Odds and Ends. If this is your first time here, be sure and subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of all of my new videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up as it really helps the channel out. And now, on with the video! And tonight we're uh, visiting a grand Floridian villa. Just walk in the door and we have a uh, really nice bathroom. Hello. Commode. Nice big shower. Rainfall head. Those are always my favorite. And in here, this must be the master bath. Because it's got the uh, bubble tub. Pretty mirror. Nice vanity. And I believe that spot right there is a television in the mirror. Move on into the bedroom area. Oh, it's got a walk-in closet. Look at that. That's pretty good size. You can almost sleep in here. Nice headboard. And of course, all the rooms have TVs. You do have a desk if you want to do some work. Nice silhouette artwork. Balcony outside. View of the walkway. This is the main living area. Got the fold-out bed for a child. Nice TV. Oh, very nice. Mickey and Minnie silhouettes on the wall. And uh, that almost looks like the little girl that used to play in the Alice movies years ago when Walt was first getting started. Into the kitchen, full featured kitchen. I believe this is probably hiding the refrigerator. Look at that. And a really cool seating area in the kitchen. That's not like uh, any of the other uh, villas that we've seen. Dishwasher. Go down this way. We have more bathrooms. Another desk. This is a little bit smaller bathroom. Still a pretty good sized shower. And a commode. And a tub, regular tub in this one. But it's nice you have a tub and a shower. I'm assuming this is your closet for this room. Pretty good sized. This room has two beds in it. This is a dedicated two bedroom unit. The balcony is full width it looks like. You zoom out and get a little better picture here of this bedroom. Looking across into its bath. And that uh, pretty much wraps up the tour of this uh, two bedroom villa at the Grand Floridian. I want to thank Navy C for bringing us out. And we'll uh, see you on the next tour. And the centerpiece of the lobby in the Grand Floridian Bill's building is this fountain with all the penguins from Mary Poppins. And to cap off a perfect evening, we're going to stop by the Enchanted Rose for a drink. All right, I don't uh, want to show too much of the bar because there's quite a few other people in here, but I got uh, what they're calling a seasonal old-fashioned, which is uh, some 10-year-old bourbon and seasonal syrup. 
in typical old fashioned other than the seasonal syrup and the 10 year old bourbon, I'm sure. And Lori opted for a Kier Royale, which is uh, champagne, chambord, and caviar pearls. So we're looking forward to that. We'll let you know how it uh, turns out. And I'll give you a quick peek around. Really nice what they've turned this into. Wow, that's good. <laughs> the uh, drinks have arrived, and uh, I will say that that's uh, pretty good. You can definitely taste the uh, bourbon in it, however. Tell them what it is. And Lori says hers is really good too. We're just going to enjoy our drinks and. Uh, I think we kind of like the Enchanted Rose and would recommend it to anybody being in the Grand Floridian. Well, we finished our drinks. We're going to call it a night here at the Grand Floridian, I think. Uh, that seasonal old fashioned was really, really good. Uh, the bourbon flavor came through really strong, but uh, still a good drink. Lori said she definitely loved her Cure Royale with the uh, champagne and Chambord Caviar Pearls. So uh, if you're uh, ever at the Grand Floridian looking for a nice, high-class place to drink, come to the Enchanted Rose. I'm sure you'll have a good time. This has been an odd production. Thanks for watching.